Okay, so I'm about to finish these crispy chickens in the oven. I've got my romesco made. Okay. Uh, some chickpeas here that I'm gonna turn into kind of an Indian carbonara type thing. As soon as I throw these in the oven, I'll make that a spinach oil. When I see like spinach that's open and uncovered and it's on its last legs, I wanna use it. Cause that's what I do at home. I don't wanna throw it away. So I did a bright green spinach oil. Incredible. Are you gonna use the rest of these? Go for it. Thank you. Go for it. Save me a few maybe, but Hey, okay. Chef Wallace! Hey, what's up? Let's have a chat. Are these chips stressing you out? These chips? No, can I have some? Yeah, oh, they're amazing. really good. Undervalued ingredient in most fine dining. Undervalued for mm. sure. Actually, can I take some? Are you stealing Shahir's chips? Yes. This is so below the belt, Let's but go, listen, Let's sometimes go, the wars get dirty. Let's go! Look, that's grilled onions, salami. And then um, the roti. So you're literally taking a leftover and reinventing yes, it. Yes, I'm taking that. And it's gonna be like a main, main aspect. So that's there. Okay, so that's the roti. What's happening with your sauce? This is a little bit of uh, they had some coconut left over. Okay. Um, so what brings it the yellow color? So it's actually a bit of a butternut squash. Butternut squash, orange juice. I just can't believe that you were looking in that fridge and from that has come that. Yeah. It's really, really hard to mix different cultures, but I'm confident in my skills and I know that I can make it happen. Salt. Woo! Now we're talking. <laughs> 